Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. Quick little video, PSA. You guys know I love a PSA. I'm in the middle of cooking dinner, so you might hear shit popping and cracking in the back. Um, but I wanted to give you a quick PSA because since I made my video earlier, a lot of people have been hitting me up and talking to me on Instagram about respectability politics. So I wanted to make this quick, handy-dandy PSA about respectability politics, okay? Respectability politics are not real. They do not exist, just like black-on-black -black crime. It's a myth. They're a myth, okay? A myth. Respectability politics don't exist. And I'm going to tell you why. Respectability politics are illogical and ridiculous, okay? If a person is racist towards black people, nothing that I can say or do as a black person, no amount of respecting myself, in the words of Kendrick Lamar, is going to change their mind about me. They're going to think I'm a nigga no matter what. They're going to think my husband is a nigga no matter what. You know, if he has his hair combed and he's wearing a suit, or, or if he's, you know, if, if his hair is nappy and he's sagging his pants and he's blasting rap music. They're going to think he's a nigger no matter what. There's nothing you can do to change that, okay? Respectability politics are a myth. So Kendrick and all you other assholes talking about, we need to respect ourselves and we are somewhat responsible for the way we're treated. Shut the fuck up because you're retarded. That's not how the fuck it works, okay? We are not even 1% of the problem. We are 0% of the problem. The problem is systematic racism, okay? Human beings in this country, in the United States of America, are supposed to have certain unalienable rights under the Constitution. That means rights no matter what, okay? White people that go crazy and kill each other in mass shootings don't suddenly lose their humanity and come and become target practice for police officers every time they walk into a mall or a school. That just doesn't happen, right? They're treated like human beings regardless of what they do or say. Only black people are subjected to this, well, maybe if you respected yourselves, rhetoric. It's bullshit. It's racism, and we have internalized it, you know, we black people, we've internalized it so that even a lot of us believe we are responsible for being oppressed. We are not responsible for being oppressed. Let me say it again for the person in the back. Kendrick Lamar, I see you. We are not responsible for being oppressed. No. Martin Luther King was shot in the throat by white people while wearing a suit and tie and preaching nonviolence. So what was the excuse then? You guys love to talk about accountability and black people need to be accountable and we need to respect ourselves. But by suggesting that whites can't stop their racist conduct until blacks change something, you and motherfucking Kendrick Lamar are just absolving them. And by them, I mean white people. You're just absolving white people of their responsibility and their accountability. Where is the accountability for systematic racism? Where is the accountability for institutionalized poverty? Where is the accountability for the school to prison pipeline? Where is the accountability for the fact that the majority of the black people that don't respect themselves are trapped in cycles of poverty and oppression because of racism on a systematic level? Where is the accountability? White people don't have to be accountable for shit. We black people have to be accountable for everything and we have to respect ourselves. We have to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. And it's bullshit and it's racist. And you guys need to shut the fuck up, okay? We've all got cousins uncles, aunts, pookie and them down the street that do not respect themselves and need to upgrade and do better. Yes, of course. But that's not just black people. That's white people, Asian people, Hispanic people. Everyone has certain people that they know in their families, in their lives, and in their race that are doing shitty and need to do better. That is not exclusive to black people, okay? And those issues don't have anything to do with how white people treat black people. These are completely separate issues, and Kendrick and all you respectability politic and assholes out there need not tie them together, okay? We have blacks with self-esteem, respect, degrees, talent, and everything else, and they still get marginalized, stereotyped, mistreated, denied jobs, passed over for promotions, called slurs, and everything else under the motherfucking sun. Blacks are not responsible for white behavior. I repeat, blacks are not responsible for white behavior. And one more time for Kendrick Lamar in the back, blacks are not responsible for white behavior. Not even 1%. This has been a public service announcement.